come on baby it's you hey everyone thank you for watching this new tutorial if you're new to my channel i'm tessa i'm putting my microphone away now because i don't need it anymore i keep my singing skills for under the shower so i'm super 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 excited about this tutorial because i'm super 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 excited about tonight yes yes i'm going to the otr2 room tour Okay, okay, I got to be quiet now because my dad is going to freak out. So I thought I'm going to get ready and I thought why not just do a Beyonce makeup tutorial. I just got to her Instagram and I just choose a look and it happened to be her latest soft glam look. It's a picture before the uh, OTR pictures and the new ape shit videos. So um, yeah, it's this glam on her. I just really, 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 really loved it. I love the hair and I love the makeup. I have to recreate it for you guys. It's a clean bronze look. It's a very soft eye with like... I don't think she used a eyeliner. I just used a eye pencil. And the lips are very 80s with a brown lip line. So I love this look and I just have to recreate it. And I'm not seeing she's wearing hoops. I'm not wearing hoops yet. So I have to put in my hoops. No, I'm not wearing, I don't know. Now is my look complete. I'm not even wearing my hoops yet. How come? How come I skipped this part? We are sisters. If you ask me, Beyonce is the queen. The queen, queen bee of the performers. I just love her. When I was younger, my biggest dream was to be her background dancer. And guess what? That didn't turn out and I really love her makeup artist, Sir John. I uh, tried some of his skills on my own face and I'm very happy how his look turned out. I think it's very nice that he once worked for MAC. He got fired but I think it's good for him because, you know, he's Beyonce's makeup artist now. So maybe I should come a little late to work also. No, no, <laughs> no, I won't. But yeah, so um, if you're curious about this look, then please keep on watching because I'm going to teach you guys right now. So I really want to put some Beyonce music on the background. But YouTube will censor it and all my music will be gone. So I'm just not gonna do it. Maybe I put a little nice Beyonce remix. So what I'm about to do is I'm starting off with my eyes. Um, most of the time I'm starting off with my skin, but I'm starting off with my eyes because I saw Beyonce's makeup artist doing this, um, so I had to do it as well. So um, I'm going to start with my brows. And um, yeah, what I see in this picture is that she has her brows combed up and a little bit uh, smoked out and I'm just gonna use like a, a powder. For it. I'm using my MAC Coquette eyeshadow and it's an eyeshadow but like I always say eyeshadows or brow shadows are I think most of the time the same formula but just in different colors. So you could use this as like a super nice um, shade color for your eyeshadow but you could also use this in your brows if your brows are like mine or a shade lighter. I just love to use this one. Before I started filming this uh, tutorial I, of course, watched some uh, Beyoncé tutorials and I also watched some videos uh, of Sir John. He's Beyoncé's makeup artist and I also watched Nicky Tutorials a tutorial with him and what I saw, he was doing her makeup and he used Mecto to um, smoke out the uh, under eye shadow with the concealer. He said it's gonna be it's so pretty for like photographs or anything. So, of course, I wanted to use my MAC Taupe too. Like, my MAC Taupe doesn't fit in my blush palette anymore because it's full. So, it's always somewhere. So, I'm just going through my brows with my uh, eyeshadow and just blending it out with my brush. Um, so, it's always somewhere. I have it in this little paper and I always think, oh, I have to uh, get a new palette to put it in and and then you need it and then it's gone, just gone. I am literally searched all of my makeup. My whole room is like a freaking mess right now. You don't want to see it. I spent half an hour searching for my MAC and I can't find it. 
I just can't find it. So I had to give up the searching for now. Just so annoyed by it. So I feel like Beyonce just has those really soft brows in this look. I think this is the way I am gonna stick with it. And I'm using a brow gel. I saw Sir John uses a, a lash glue to just make sure that they stay in place all the time. And I love that idea. But my lash glue is black, so I'm not gonna use that in my brows. So I'm gonna use my brow gel. And I'm not gonna show you guys because this is my brow gel I only use for my brows and if I'm going in with like this brush you know in the clear brow gel after I use my brow powder doesn't look really nice I know I really have to buy a new one for the camera but so I comb all my brows up so I'm gonna use my groundwork and I'm gonna use it as a base for my eyeshadows. And she is really wearing this soft brown glam on her eyes. And I'm just gonna stick with that. I'm gonna use like one or two brown shades and a black shade to smoke out the lash line. I don't think she's using a liner in this picture, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm already putting it under my eyes. Make sure my base is already a bit matte and filled so it won't run into the lines later on. I feel like her brows are a bit, a bit, a bit shaped. So I'm using a bit, a bit, a bit of my NC35 concealer and I'm gonna use it to shape my brows. I should have done this before I applied my paint pot, but I didn't, so I'm gonna do it right now. I feel like a hot mess because I searched for that thing so long. So like this, my brow is shaped. Okay, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm using my all-time favorite brown eyeshadow color by MAC. It's the texture and I'm just using this all over my eyelid. And what I'm also doing is I like to blend out the eye shadow really deep into my yeah, hairline, you can say. So I'm not sure if she's wearing a darker brown shade. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this darker brown color in the outer corners of my eye, just around my lash line. Just a little bit, just to create a little bit of a... We have a wink idea with the brown eyeshadow. After that, I'm using my Whisper of Guilt highlighter. I'm just gonna highlight the centers of my eyelids and the inner corners of my eyelids because I think she has a really um, highlighted center and a really highlighted inner corner. So, and I'm bringing it up all the way up to the crease and I just think this is a very easy nude the lamb she be wearing. Maybe my highlight is too much, but well, whatever. I'm going with it. And then I'm using my fluffy brush to blend it all in again. And I'm using it in the inner corners, but it's something I should be doing after I'm applying my concealer, but yeah. Okay. What I'm going to do next is I'm using my feline eye pencil to intensify the black lash line. It doesn't really have to be very pretty because I'm gonna smoke it out with an eyeliner brush. And I'm not really gonna make a wing, but I'm gonna wing it out, you know? I feel like this is what she has. So this is it for the eyeliner and I want to um, really set the eyeliner because it's a pencil and it's a bit of a creamy pencil so I'm using my uh, black eyeshadow to set it.
You know what I love about Beyonce's makeup? She's never really all about the lashes. You know, you see the lashes, but it's never really like BAM! So I like that because I don't like to use um, fake lashes all the time. So I don't think I'm gonna use it for this look. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm filling in my inner lash lines. The upper lash line I'm filling in with the Cat's Meow. I think this is the best black eyeliner to fill in your inner lash line because for me, if I use it, it never smudges. So it's not going to um, leak under your lower lash line if you're just using it above. And I'm using my Roma Graphic Pencil in NW25 NC30. This is just a limited edition uh, package, but it's the normal Roma Graphic Pencil um, to fill in my lower lash line because her lower lash line is really bright. So make sure there's no blank space or skin coming through. I really want my upper lash line to be really black. Okay, so this is it for the eyes. I will be putting mascara on at the end, so I'm going to start with my skin now. Um, she has a really fresh, glowy base going on, so I think I'm just going to do my normal foundation routine. And that will be my Studio Sculpt Foundation in the NC35. So, and I'm using my Beauty Blender to apply it all over my face. So next I will be shaping my face because Beyonce looks really bronze and I'm looking really pale and I don't like it. So I'm going to bronze with my uh, cream contour and after that I'm going to use a powder bronzer as well. So I'm using this shade, smaller concealer brush, to apply it and the contour place of my face. What is you doing? Your jaw isn't there. It's lower. Miss today, my makeup is not going the way I want it. And you're not trying to do your makeup, your makeup looks flawless. So, like, if I'm doing it on my way to work or anything like that, but if you want to go somewhere, it's just not Okay, so next I'm going to use my concealer. She looks bright, but not too bright, you know? She just has those somewhat bright spots. So I'm using my NCW, F <clears throat> NCW, okay, Tessa. So I'm using my NC35 Pro Longwear Concealer to conceal. It's not going to be too bright around my T-zones, but just a little bit. And I like to use a little bit of concealer or highlighter here as well. I feel like Beyonce has that too, so I'm just gonna do it. Although she doesn't have it, I'm gonna do it. So I'm not gonna blend this out with my beauty blender. I'm gonna blend this out with this 242 brush. Because I saw Sir John doing this, it really buffs out the concealer very nicely. I love it. I really do. And now I don't have the taupe, so I'm just gonna use my setting powder in a minute. Hoping for a miracle that I just like. So I'm just going to use my uh, translucent setting powder from La La Merche to set my under eyes and the rest of my T-zone. But not too much because I like the powder but it's a bit dry for me. So I'll be using the texture to connect my under eyelid with my upper eyelid. Now I will be using my chroma graphic pencil in my under eyelid. Yes, mommy. 
And then I will be using my Refined Bronze Bronzer by MAC to uh, bronze up my face. I'm using a larger brush. I'm not using my contour brush anymore because I feel like it fell out. I don't like the texture of it anymore. I need a new one. And I saw my friend Margarita doing this shaping with a bigger brush and I love it. It's gonna give you a very bronzy, smoked out look on your face. I feel like Queen Bee is super bronze in this look, so I'm using a lot of it. And of course, we will be using Whisper of Gill. BAM! Okay, so I feel like I'm not orange enough yet. So I'm using a bit more of my texture eyeshadow. Okay, and I feel like Beyonce's skin or her cheeks are just very bronze. So I'm using my Gingerly blush. It's my all-time favorite bronzy blush. In combination with my Cheeky Bronze bronzer to just bronze up my cheek. When that's all said and done, I'm gonna use my mascara to create some lashes on my eyes. Okay, 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 I'm not gonna use false lashes because I just don't think I need it. I am going to go through my lashes with my uh, spoolie because I think they have to be as much separate as possible. I saw Sir John doing this as well. Okay, so now I'm going to do my lips and I'm just going to use my strip down pencil. I'm in doubt. Strip down or cork. Strip down or cork. I'm going to use my strip down. If it's not dark enough, I'm going to use my... Uh, cork on top of it because as you can see Beyonce has a very lined lip over here I'm not even sure if she's wearing lipstick on top but I can imagine she doesn't so I'm gonna use a very nude lipstick that looks like my own uh, lip shade in the middle and I'm using a darker liner to line my lips oh I didn't use whisper Kill. Okay, so I feel like it isn't dark enough, so I'm going to use my cork on top of it to darken it up a little bit. This looks more like it. Not really sure, but I'm going through with it. Okay, what I'm doing then is I'm using, like I said, a nude lipstick, a nude matte lipstick, and I'm using my Velvet Daddy um, with my brush because it's almost empty so I'm using my Velvet Teddy lipstick. I've got some really dry lips. They don't really scrub them but so I blended it a little bit too much in my line so I have to go on top with the liner again. So this is really giving you this 80s lip with a darker liner. So I think this is it for my look. But I'm not finished yet because like I said, it's a makeup and hair tutorial. So what she has in this picture, and I really love it, is Beyonce's hairstyle forever, are those small uh, curls. and. I have this one, don't know if you know it, but it's the Carmen Chopstick and it's like 24 euros, maybe it's a little bit more expensive now than it was before, but it really gives you these good curly curls. So as you can see my hair, well, 
let's just say it's fluffy, so it's not good enough to go through as Beyonce curls tonight. So I'm gonna use my chopstick, I'm gonna put it on, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use a heat protector first, and this is the uh, size setting straight spray. I have the heat protector just for like any hair cell, but it was so smelly and I hated it, so I just threw it away because I thought the, I don't know if it's the normal smell, but I just hated the smell of it. So I know it's for straight hair, but it's a heat protector, so and I'm spraying this all in my hair. For length, I added some weave. So, like this. And the first thing I'm about to do is I'm gonna uh, put all the hairs uh, really tight on top. Because this is what Beyonce has. Oh yeah, Tessa, you don't even have like a band, so what are you doing right now? So, as you can see, she has this really high ponytail and it's really um, tight to her head but she also has a little bit of her baby curls I call me baby curls because I think it's baby curls situation going on in the front so I'm doing the best I can but if my baby curls leak I don't mind because Queen Bee has this as well I'm just gonna use this one and a little bit of this one. This is my all-time favorite hairspray. It's the Wella hairspray in Ultra Sterk, Ultra Strong. Wow, I'm oh, hurting myself. I'm hurting myself. Grandma, where's my sister? If you need her. Okay, okay, so. Is this something or is this something, huh? What I gotta do now is I got to get a tiny piece of hair from the back of my ponytail and I got to wrap it around the band. So you don't see the band anymore. And then you need a bobby pin. Not prepared for my hair. So this is it for the hairdo and I'm just gonna curl away and to pay. I'm gonna get my curler and I'm gonna curl tiny pieces of hair in different directions. So I don't want my curls to be that tiny because you know my weave isn't as long as Beyonce's. So I'm not gonna curl them very uh, tight around the curler, just a little bit loose. And then I'm going through all these curls with my fingers to get them a bit more out and about. Get this section of hair behind the ponytail. I'm really happy how it turned out. I thought maybe it's going to curl up way too high and be all over the place. But yeah, this is it for my tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. I'm going to change myself and put on my clothes for the concert. I'm super excited to see her and I'm super excited about this tutorial. If you are just as excited, if you are just as excited as I am, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you have any requests just comment them in my comment box below and uh, yeah, you will see me in my next video.